joining us, Assembly Member Lori Wilson. Well, good afternoon, everyone. Yes, this is an absolute exciting day. It's a beautiful day, and I am absolutely honored to be here. My name is Assembly Member Lori Wilson. I proudly represent the 11th District, which includes this county, Solano County, Vallejo, right here. Yes, and I also, thank you so much, sir. I also have the distinct pleasure of chairing um, the Assembly Transportation Committee, which, yes, that is something to be excited about, too. So, um, as, as noted, I'm excited to be here this afternoon with all of you, standing alongside our regional and local leaders. Um, we are here to christen the San Francisco Bay Ferry's newest vessel. And to, yes. And to congratulate San Francisco Bay Ferry Chair Jim Wonderman, his colleagues on the board, and their, on their continued success in improving ferry service throughout the Bay Area and especially here to Solano County. Now, since I've served as a local leader in Sassoon City for such a long time, the San Francisco Bay Area Ferry has provided a special place in my heart as a vital link to the counties of Alameda and San Francisco for the residents and guests of Solano County. Um, it's been an engine of our regional economic growth, an integral component of our fight against climate change, and essential emergency management entity. Um, I've had the pleasure of riding this ferry on numerous occasions as my husband and my son have gone to their Giants games. This is their favorite mode of transportation. Um, but through that, riding it not only for pleasure, but also for business, having to go to so many regional meetings there, I've always understood that uh, for Solano County to thrive and for our community to lead e on economic opportunity and climate action, we must sustain and increase investment in San Francisco Bay Ferry and the critical connections it provides for thousands in our region to jobs, school, education, and healthcare. Now, today's launch of the MV Delfinus represents such an investment and will help deliver for our region and our state. This vessel is incredibly efficient and has been built with one of the primary goals of reducing fuel usage and emissions. It also increases capacity for ferry service to Vallejo, the highest ridership route in the San Francisco Bay Ferry System. And the only frequent single seat transit option for Solano County residents and visitors to access the job and economic centers in San Francisco. And thanks to San Francisco Bay Ferry's recently approved fare program at a much lower fare. Yes, that is something to cheer about, especially we know cost of living is going up and we're going down, and that's a good thing. In the face of significant and growing state budget deficits and with the increasing um, the threat of climate change, we need projects just like this one more than ever before. Now, finally, as I close, I'd like, I would be remiss if I didn't acknowledge that in the months ahead, Solano County will be presented with new opportunities and challenges, especially created by state legislation and the budget. However, I will continue to be Solano County's and SF Bay, Bay Ferry's voice discussions on these matters. I will work to ensure that the state does not backtrack on its commitment to our region and to Solano County specifically. Now, together, we will continue to lift up our region. Did you hear that? Together. Not Lori Wilson by herself. Not Jim Wonderman, even though he's a wonder and can do amazing things. Together. Can we get a round of applause? Together. Together, we will continue to lift up our region. I appreciate the opportunity to be here today on this momentous occasion. And please now join me, give a large, a huge round of applause to Chair of San Francisco Bay Ferry, Jim Wonderman. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Okay. Well, thank you, uh, Assembly Member Wilson. Um, for, and thank you for the very kind intro, and uh, you've just been a magnificent uh, addition to the uh, California State Assembly uh, since you took that position. I, you know, we've worked on so many things, but your interest, your obvious dedication to this uh, incredible community of Vallejo and, and Solano County, uh, to the 
Bay Area region to the state of California and to make sure that you know we do things right and we you know we're aggressive and we move ahead and uh, you know, I just want to thank you. Please join me in thank thanking Assemblymember Wilson. She's a superstar. And having you as the chair of the uh, Assembly Transportation Committee, we just see as an opportunity, and we will be knocking on the door, and uh, and we're going to be talk about partnership. You know, I don't think it's ever been better. So, 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 thank you, and uh, just want to recognize the, you know, the the team at SF Bay Ferry, my uh, colleague on the board, Jessica Alba, over there. Thank you, Jessica, for your support. Um, your hometowner, Pippin Du, who you'll hear from uh, in a few minutes, our newest member on the board. Uh, Seamus Murphy and his incredible team at SF Bay Ferry. Raise your hand if you work for SF Bay Ferry. There was a lot of you here, and I, I can tell you, it is a, it's an unparalleled, dedicated group of people who are working every day to create a world-class transportation on the waterfront of San Francisco Bay. And we've made so much progress, thanks to so many of you here. Uh, you know, Bobby Winston, where's, where's uh, Bobby? right back there who you know was part of the original crowd uh board member tony and Tintley, mr mayor where are you uh served on the board since its inception until uh recently it's hard you know it's uh it's, it's just great to see you and uh and so many of you uh you folks at blue and gold pat and your team raise your hand um blue and gold you know providing amazing service reliable service it's no wonder uh, that the recovery of our system is the tops in public transit in the region at over 80 percent recovery since the pandemic double the amount on a lot of other systems that's not an accident you know that's a function of 99 percent passenger satisfaction 99 percent where do you see that so that's not that doesn't just happen it part of it is because it's real nice and it's a ferry and all of that but that's it's way more than that it's hard work it's dedication, it's a ruthless conviction uh, to quality that has led us to this event today and to bring in, bring in this, uh, you know, this newest, not our last, but our latest incredible new vessel, uh, the, Del the Delphinus. So um, since the, I joined the board in, in 2016, and since that time we've added over a vessel a year, nine new vessels, so this is uh, lucky uh, number nine, which is incredible, and there's, gonna, and there's more to come. Uh, the del the del this this vessel has uh, the combined seats of those vessels are 3,575 seats, and all of these vessels meet the highest U.S. EPA emission standards. So we basically can claim uh, by bringing all these new vessels, we have the cleanest fleet in the country, which is something yeah. not a not a small thing. And this is, of course, the second uh, vessel following the, in this Dorado class that was uh, built by Maverick Marine in Laconner, uh, Washington. So great uh, organization. And uh, the former director, Nina Rannells, and I rode on their vessel in Portsmouth, England. We're really impressed. Asked them to get in touch with us, and now it's, it resulted uh, you know, in a competitive victory for Maverick to produce four vessels uh, for SF Bay Ferry. This is the second. Uh, there's there's a two, mo two more to come. Uh, I'll talk about that in a moment, but we should take a moment of remembrance for Zach Battle, who was the founder of Maverick Marine, who, who passed away, sadly, uh, last year, uh, just as the shipyard was uh, completing the work on this vessel. So on behalf of this SF Bay, uh, Bay Ferry family, uh, to Zach's family and the Maverick shipyard team, uh, please know that you, 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 know, you have our deepest uh, condolences and respect. Uh, and again, those two more vessels are coming, and they'll be even cleaner with higher level filtration systems. So every time we, we create the cleanest vessel, we create an even cleaner vessel. That's, where, that's how we roll. Um, but it won't stop there, because in 2024, which is this year, we plan to start construction um, on our first high-speed zero-emission ferry. So that's coming right at us, and that's part of our program known as the Rapid Electric Emission uh, Free Ferry Program, also known as REEF, which is a pretty cute name. Uh, but that is basically our plan to, to make our ferry system an emission-free system. And as you know, there's no, nothing like it uh, in America. So that's a big goal. Uh, 
it's not an easy thing to do. We're, we're inventing as we go. We have to bring in uh, folks from around the world who are a little bit ahead of us in this area. But we, we not only plan to, uh, to do that, but we plan to learn from it and make better as we design and construct these vessels. And it is my fervent hope, and I hope if you're in the newspaper business or media you'll quote me you know we i would like to see these boats ultimately manufactured on this yeah. bay yeah. maybe right across the way at mare island if we're going to make this kind of investment uh you know basically public dollars mostly from bridge tolls but also from state grants uh and so forth and local money from the likes of contra costa transportation authority we should be able to uh we should be able to create new uh, union jobs at scale and a new maritime industry and uh, you know there's a new uh, mo uh, working waterfront coalition that Mr. Winston has formed and a lot of you are involved in that and this is serious this is a serious opportunity in our region to create a workforce that is more diverse and and really reflects the quality and the values of the whole Bay Area we love being a tech region but you can't live you know life can't live on tech alone you know we need and 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 the convergence of tech and manufacturing coming together with real people doing real jobs i feel is just so important so we're gonna have to work hard for that we have to rebuild a workforce we have to train people we have to compete in order to be able to do that but if we have everybody's support here to do that today i think uh we can we can make that happen so um i just want to thank you so much for your support uh we've got you know, the greatest people uh, uh, supporting, I think, what's been the greatest growth in the greatest form of transportation that I can speak to. I'm so proud for everybody who's been uh, part of it, and I'm, I'm, I couldn't be more pleased that we're able to do this in the great city of Vallejo, which, as Assemblymember Wilson said, is really the core place. This is the place where most of the, the biggest routes that go the biggest distances. Uh, Vallejo is critical to SF Bay Ferry, and SF Bay Ferry is critical to Vallejo. So with that, let me introduce uh, Mayor Robert McConnell uh, to make comments, and uh, really pleased to be here in your city, sir. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And as the uh, Honorable Mayor of the city of Vallejo, it is, excuse me, <clears throat> it is my very distinct honor to welcome you and also express to you our, th our thanks for you coming down here. Um, there are many people who have been introduced already that you know, and uh, I'm supposed to single out other people who are here that are instrumental in this community. There are many of you out there, but Vallejo Ferry started with the city. This is Vallejo Ferry, and in the dark days of yore, there was a time when there was a serious question as to whether that ferry system would continue. So I want to acknowledge three women who made certain that it was. They became known as the Vallejo Ferry Godmothers. Uh, Sally Evans, Myrna Hayes, and in our crowd today is Cindy Detweiler. Without them, this ferry may not have become what it is today. So thank you, Cindy. Well, I was very proud to have one of the only direct water transits to San Francisco from Solano County. The ferry provides a 60-minute ride with incredible views to San Francisco, a much better experience than driving individually on your, in your car on Interstate 80. That's a plug. Today we get to celebrate the arrival of a new high-capacity, high-speed vessel that will support the Vallejo Ferry Service and provide an affordable and fast option for Vallejo residents to access jobs and entertainment in San Francisco. It's not just another vessel. The vessel was designed to reduce fuel usage by 40%, while still maintaining passenger capacity and speed needed for the longest ferry ride on the San Francisco Bay. We're thrilled that the San Francisco Bay Ferry has made a commitment to shift to zero emission technology by 2035. While we know that zero emission technology is still not currently feasible to operate this long our route to San Francisco, we applaud these efforts because in this community we have such a large segment of impacted people with as asthma and other breathing diseases. And as that ship goes up and down past some of these developed, these impacted communities, I think they will grow to appreciate it even more. As development on Maryland progresses, the ferry service will be even more critical to our residents. The economic vitality of Vallejo and to ensure our residents have access to the growing job centers in the San Francisco area 
And you know, I'm an army guy. I don't, didn't know much about boats nor christening. So I had to do a little research and I came across an interesting little tidbit. As you'll recall, we were going to originally have this christening on Thursday. And then something happened. Well, I found out why it happened. According to Viking mythology, Thursday is named after Thor. And apparently Thor despised the idea of christening and placing new boats into his water on his day. So he said, if any boat is there to put into the water or be christened on Thor's day, we will bring thunder, lightning, and bad seas. As you can see today, we do not have that, so thank you, Thor. <laughs> and I will now introduce my former colleague and board member, Pippin Du. Pippin. Thank you, Mayor McConnell, and thank you everyone for being here today. I am so excited to represent Vallejo on the San Francisco Bay Ferry Board. And I'm really proud of how San Francisco Bay Ferry has invested back in the community of Vallejo. In 2016, the agency opened the North Bay Operations and Maintenance Facility across the strait on Mare Island. In 2019 and 2020, we delivered three new vessels to expand capacity on the Vallejo route, the Pixis, the Vila and the Lyra. These are the biggest ferries in the entire fleet at 445 passengers apiece. This represents a $100 million investment in Vallejo. <laughs> providing good blue collar jobs on the water and connecting our residents to both economic and recreational opportunities in San Francisco. It also brings tourists into Vallejo to eat at our restaurants, shop in our small businesses, and of course, ride our roller coasters. <laughs> I hear so often from Vallejoans who share that they simply wouldn't tra travel to San Francisco if they had to drive. San Francisco Bay Ferry is a huge asset for our community. Delphinus will start its service in the fleet here in Vallejo, but one of the beauties of this class of uh, ferries is its versatility. Our Vallejo riders appreciate the fast one-hour trip that Delphinus can provide. But this ferry can also fit into our most snug, shallow terminals and navigate well in inclement weather thanks to its exceptional power. We've also worked with Maverick Marine to implement a few key upgrades based on passenger feedback. After adding Dorado to the fleet in 2022, we heard from passengers that while they loved the selfie deck upstairs, they wanted some more sheltered seating. We also heard from our cyclists on preferred stowage options. I'm pleased to share that Delphinus has sheltered seating upstairs now and upgraded bike racks will be installed soon. I'm also happy to announce that Dorado, which is in dry dock in San Diego, will be getting those upgrades as well. With that, <laughs> thank you for joining us today. Stand by for an invitation to come on board after we complete the christening ceremony. Thank you everyone.
to kind of start serving the champagne.